these. I don't know how much time I'm going to have um, to do this because the battery is dying. So we're going to make this super quick. Um, I've been sick. I had like a little bit of a sinus infection. So I've been on medicine. That's why I've not really done a lot of vlogging. And I've also fallen behind in reading what's new. So <laughs> very behind on reading. I did happen to finish two books so far this week. It is Tuesday, by the way, for editing page. Hello. It's Tuesday. <laughs> But, um, I did happen to finish two books. I finished The Bluest Sky, which I thought was really wonderful. Um, it is a historical fiction, uh, book about this young boy who is living in Cuba, um, during the 1980s. His father is an activist, a political activist, um, and he's already left and went to America. Um, because they've been, they were wanting to, oh, because he was wanting to escape some of the stuff that was happening over in Cuba. And when he got over there, he could, you know, set up a place for his family to come. Um, the young boy is super smart. He loves mathematics and everything. His whole life is, well, not his whole life, but <laughs> currently his, uh, his fixation is on fine-tuning his math skills because he wants to join the, um, math Olympiad, um, the math team to make, port to make a, to make Cuba proud. Um, but when his mother, um, decides that it might be time to go because his older, his older brother is, um, almost at the, like very, very shortly, he's going to turn the age where he has to be, um, enrolled into Cuba's military. Um, it's about him learning to cope with that. Um, and kind of trying to think of ways to get out of it, but it goes a lot into the history of Cuba. Um, what was going on during that time period, why people were leaving, etc., etc. It was a really good historical book in that. Um, so I think that young kids would learn a lot from it. And I learned a lot of things. I didn't know, I don't really know a lot about that time period with Cuba or what was going on or anything. So I, I found it very, very intriguing. And I would think, I think I'm going to pick up something else. I think Ruta Septis has a book about Cuba during that time. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I will check out more books around that time period happening with Cuba because I'm very interested. I also finished Bad at Love by Gabrielle Martins. Gabrielle Martins previously published a book that I really liked. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it was like a love song. Like a love song, I think it was what it's called. This one's Bad at Love. So we're continuing the musical theme. Um, this one's going to be hard for me to write because, like, I, it was... I could see the good in it, and it was kind of an interesting story, but I felt like the story was overdone, and it it gave off this, like, Wattpad feeling, and no, nothing against Wattpad. Great place for fanfic, um, but you know the feeling that I'm getting. Like, it, um, it gave me a lot of Wattpad uh, feelings. Um, the, basically, it revolves around these, the two main characters, it's a multi-POV, um, the female character is this girl who is trying to get a um, scholarship grant kind of thing to go to her um, dream college. And to do that, she has been um, reporting and working with like one or a couple of newspapers. Anyways, she gets assigned to um, kind of sneak her way into the life of this up-and-coming rock star named Rotten, whose real name is Daniel, um, and to get to know him and to get, like, a big scoop on him because they're wanting to do, like, an insider, but, you know, not tell him that she's actually, like, but not tell him that she's actually, like, working for the newspaper. They want to be kind of sleazy about it. Anyways, so <laughs> the other POV is Daniel, who is Rotten, um... <laughs> Um, and he, um, he talks a lot about immigrating, um, he's Brazilian, the main cast is a Brazilian American, he's Brazilian, um, and about his life, um, it just, the character development wasn't there, guys, um, so he falls head over heels in love with this girl, she's kind of mad, but she goes along with it, then she falls for him, then stuff happens. Um, again, it just, it felt more like Daniel was kind of a stand-in for Harry Styles, and this was a Your Name kind of fanfic, but other than, and like, and like, I feel like I have read this very similar plot 
from another author and it felt like like I really don't care um, much if um, authors use the same tropes if authors use kind of like the same basic plot line but it just mm, it felt a little samey with, uh, with another book that I've read but I can't remember the title of it but anyways like Beyond that, beyond, like, the Wattpad kind of feeling about this book and whatnot, um, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay for me. It didn't really do anything for me, um, and it's, like, it clocks in at, like, 240 pages, so it's a very, very simple book. Um, simple, quick, it's quick and dirty read, if you will, but, um, I can see where other people would really like this, so I'm not, I'm not gonna dogpile on it. Um, basically, it was a good book, just... Not my cup of tea, but it has a lot of potential. So I hope that it, a lot of it gets refined in the finished edition. So other than that, um, I'm going to end the vlog here in a second. I'm going to go upstairs, going to do some editing. I got to take pictures for Instagram. Um, clean up a little bit. I'm going to go upstairs, do some computer work. I have like a couple of computer things up there that I need to do real quickly. I'll do that. And then I'm going to go outside, um, spray the yard. Might let the girls out first, then I'll spray the yard. Um, but spray the yard, get that all done. And I kind of want to go to a car wash today, and I kind of want to go and get my pre-order that I ordered from Little Shop. So definitely after our shower, I'll decide how tired I am and everything. Um, but other than that, we're just trying to catch up on Instagram likes. We're going to spend the day working and trying to get to a place where I can sit down and I can just read. Need to read. <laughs> really bad. I'm really behind. Like I need to rent, I need to finish. Um, I know you're lying. Um, the girl from Guernica, Guernica, I don't know. I'm sorry. Please someone correct me. Um, as the as long as the lemon tree grows and flip turns like I'm bad behind man so yeah lots of working get to a place where I can do some reading so yeah I will catch y'all up in a bit hey bookies it is Wednesday um like 4 30 oh, 4 25 in the morning I don't know um yeah I got I'm still, like, kind of recovering from my son's infection, so I didn't get around to doing the outside stuff today, so that's going to get done. I also got my emissions paperwork, so bleh, I gotta go get that done. And I gotta go get cat snacks. So it's just going to turn into a whole outing later today. Um, I'll film it. <laughs> I also am seeing uh, from my friends if they need me to drop off more food. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I've gotten most of the chores done. I am slowly working my way back with Instagram. Um, and I'm going to start on and probably finish Flip Turns um, by Catherine Ar Ar Arguelles. Ar I don't know. Um, but I'm going to start on Flip Turns. Um, and then I'm moving on to As Long as the Lemon Tree Grows. Um, still behind. I still got lots of reviews to do. I got um, the Blue Sky and Bad at Love reviews to do. And I also got to get done with um, It Looks Like Us, which is due today. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try to calm down, get all this stuff done, and we will see where we're at. So I'll catch y'all up in a bit. Hey guys. Um, so I just finished with the little shop of stories um i love visiting them they're my favorite indie store um so i i picked up my pre-order but i also picked up like five books um it'll be in a haul video but i got like the new well not new um volume three in the pretty guardian series i got the first book in the front desk series by kelly yang um I got a signed copy of the Sunbear Trials to make up for missing the event on Saturday because I got sick. Um, and I picked up I'm glad my mo I'm glad my mother is dead uh, by Jeanette McCurdy. I might have fucked up that title, but you know. And I got another one. I will insert the cover. I can't remember what it is, but it's like it's like a horror book. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Um, I talked to them. 
about some upcoming events and stuff like that because I'm wanting to attend. Hopefully I won't get sick. <laughs> But we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I am going to head on up towards where I live. I have to get cat snacks for the cat because the cat has run out. And I need to get uh, my missions done and a car wash. And the P.O. box needs to be checked. So I'll update all in a sec. Oh, also, shoot, I totally forgot. Um, I, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get my, my Google Maps stopped working. <laughs> um... I am, um, I finished, uh, flip turns. Um, it was really good. I didn't expect it to be like kind of a mystery. I guess I should have read the back, but it was really good. It focused on swimming. It focuses on this girl, um, whose family owns this, um, aquatic center. Um, she's on the swim team and everything. It's like a community swim team kind of thing. So anyways, she's, um, doing her thing. Um, and she had been seeing this guy. Um, and this is middle grade. Um, she'd been seeing this guy and then she was like, you know, this isn't working for me. So she gave him back this gift that he gave her, which was like a snow globe. He got upset. He smashed it, um, after school and everything. And then she found the broken glass from the snow globe at the aquatic center, um, that her family owns. She found one of the polar bears that was in the, um, snow globe. Um, there as well. Um, the place starts to get vandalized repeatedly. It's a whole thing. Um, so she suspects it's the guy that she broke up with, but she is trying to get evidence of that. Um, also because their family's aquatic center is starting to go under. She is trying to save her family's aquatic center. Um, it was really good. It was super good. I didn't expect it to be like, I, I expected it to be like good, like a four, but this is like a five. Like, if I rated above a 5, it would be, like, a, an 8. It was really, really good. I loved it. Um, I'd like to see more um, with this um, universe from this author. Really good. Um, so, I'm going to start, wh whenever I read next, I'm going to start As Long As the Lemon Tree Grows. Um, and then after that, it's going to be It Looks Like Us. So, yeah. Last update, I'm going to go dr drive now. Well, I'm going to fix my GPS and I'm going to drive. But, yeah, I'll catch you all up in a second. Hey, buckies. Um, I'm very late on getting this vlog out. Um, it's like next Friday. So, <laughs> um, I don't remember what I finished. It wasn't a lot. Um, we are in the last week of September and I am panicking. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be for next times vlog. I don't know when I'm going to get that vlog out. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you again. Bye.